The coronavirus is scaring everybody. It's scaring me too, but I'm not gonna go ahead and be psycho, obsessive, and living in fear like everyone else. You know, being on social media, they expect you to be a, uh, such a positive influencer and they want you to say certain things. People expect you to say something that's gonna have the majority of the people agree. Listen, I'm not about that life, okay? I'm just not. The coronavirus is a serious illness. We don't have a vaccine for it. And I know how serious it is working in the health field. Okay, I work at a hospital. I'm at risk every day with the job I do. I'm a sterile tech for the OR. I am exposed to a lot of things. So I take it seriously, I seriously do. At the same time, I'm not gonna live my life in fear, you guys, I'm just not. Take precautions, do what you gotta do. Wash your hands constantly, make sure you're clean constantly. If you don't need to leave the house, don't leave the house. Wear gloves when it's needed. Do whatever you gotta do to make sure this doesn't spread as quickly as it happened in China and in Italy. But you guys, seriously, don't go psycho, don't go crazy. They tell, you to, they tell your asses to stay home, and what do you guys do? You rush to the nearest grocery store, you rush to the nearest department store, and you guys flood it, flood it, trying to get that damn toilet paper, the hand sanitizers, the soaps, whatever the fuck you guys are there for. And you guys are exposing yourselves to everybody, and it's jam-packed. You guys are touching everything. How is that helping? Can y'all tell me please? And I blame this on social media and I blame this on the media in general. They have everyone in a panic. And panic is the worst thing that we can all do. Because now we're fighting each other. And it's not gonna stop the coronavirus. <laughs> That's not how it works. Once we find a vaccine for it and we, we come up with something, we can slow it down. Just like the flu. But doing what y'all are doing, going crazy with it, Calm the fuck down, y'all. When HIV happened, we did not take these precautions. And we still don't have a cure for it. But we're more careful, we're more aware, right? But we're not hiding in fear. You guys, don't live your life in fear. That's not the cure of this coronavirus. And if you're sick, stay away from the elderly. Stay away from the babies, from the kids. Stay away from those who have a low immune system. You don't wanna put them at risk. Come on, y'all, live your life. This is life, there's always gonna be something that comes around, okay, it just happens. We're not here forever. Just be careful, that's all, live your life. I'm gonna continue living mine and I'm gonna watch a fun video. And I decided to watch Ray Vaughn, or Raven, I don't know. But his video is called, Los Angelina Takes Over the World. Okay, I already know where this is going. I'm pretty sure Raven's gonna be dressing up in drag and she gonna, she gonna hit us a little bit of, of his feminine side, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and watch. So if y'all don't know who this is, he is friends with LeRae and Twimsy, Brady Potter, they all live in the same house, so. Just a little disclaimer, I'm really sorry this video. Doesn't make any sense. If you're sitting here waiting for a video that's gonna make sense, maybe. <laughs> this ain't well, about you're that. not gonna get that. This video's not gonna make sense. I don't plan for this video. Why I look so fing pretty? Oh my god. Yeah, sit back, relax, and get ready to not understand one part of this whole video. <laughs> Let's ride. Okay. In today's video, I thought I would just sit in here and do what I do, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm just gonna do what I do because I feel like that's the main thing of like all my videos is just I do what I do and I don't have really like an actual plan. Gotcha. Is that English? We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Are you tired of looking in the mirror? <laughs> yeah. What? No, you, you didn't let me finish. Are you tired of looking in the mirror every morning? By the way, glasses, y'all better rock them glasses. You don't have to be blind, semi blind, or vision, vision, visually impaired. <laughs> Wear them glasses. They're stylish. There's all types. It looks good with your outfits. They're amazing and perfect, but then you see that one imperfection. Or many imperfections. Yeah. Do you ever just scroll through Instagram and see that one Instagram bag and you're like, wow, I'm ugly. I figured that. <laughs> but baby girl, I got you. Because today's video is sponsored by Philology. Okay, so this is obviously a paid sponsor that we are not going to promote because they ain't paying me. 
So let's go ahead and fast forward. I know what you're all thinking right now. Last Angelina, how are you so pretty? Oh. Bitch, shut up. Like, everyone's always like, I'm so ugly. Like, I want to be pretty. Like, I want to be Last Angelina. Bitch, if you're ugly, just be pretty. And that's on fucking mm. period, bitch. Mm. If you're ugly, just be pretty. Just Those are great words. Very inspirational. If you feel like you're ugly, <laughs> you're pretty to somebody. Always remember that. Everyone has different tastes, different interests, different types. Someone finds you mighty attractive, so don't you ever think you're ugly. It's such a vibe. Oh my god, I'm scratched. Got my Red Bull. Sorry, she was gonna be funny. If I see you in the street, she's on foot. Wow, I look so fucking pretty right now. I need to just look at the road, but I can't. I can't stop looking at myself. There are so many crazy people on the motherfucking road right now. Y'all need to chill the f out. Cause what? I do I look like I'm gonna die, bitch. Girl, you look like that crazy person on the road. I don't see nobody else there. And especially during this coronavirus thing going on. Everyone's home. You're the only one out there, girl. I look like I wanna be pretty. Oh wait, I'm already being pretty. So do not kill me. I feel like I'm one of the crazy people on the road right now. <laughs> Um, did I mention that this video has no context and I have no plan for this today's video, but That's my okay. always works fast and I'm going to figure out what to do. So yeah, um, you better not pick up this video or else I'm going to come to the house and throw a business in your, at your head. Hey. 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 You want to break You better break You better move. Hey. Hey. Tell me not. It depends on the music you're listening to. Whatever you're listening to, it's gonna affect the way you drive. For me, when I listen to R&B, I'm driving chill. When I'm listening to hardcore hip hop or even rock, like I, I tend to speed. I don't know, I just tend to cut people off. But when I listen to my country, it's karaoke night in my car. Okay guys, just parked my car because I was driving a little What's the word? Um, like, recklessly. So, the first activity I want to do in today's random ass motherfucking video is I wanted to just, like, lately I've been, like, really wanting a rush. And, like, people out here in LA get a rush by, like, doing crack, like, doing drugs, like, just, like, doing crack. And yeah. I do crack. Do I look like I do crack? Yeah, a little bit. Mm, a little no, bit. I don't. No. Yeah, no, I don't do crack. Just kidding. That's what, that's what a crackhead would do. I'll just give you a prime example. I'm just gonna call like some work and just like quit because I'm bored. Like I don't have a job and I feel like I like want that rush of like I quit. I'm gonna call. I've always wanted to do that, especially at my last job. I wanted to up and leave. I just want to say fuck you and just go, but I can't. I have a house. I have a mortgage. I have family, so <laughs> I can't just up and go. But I've always wanted to. Okay, so you know me. I am going to read a comment from one of my viewers. And she's my subscriber. I, I recognize some of y'all names, okay? Especially those who comment a lot. So Saturn S commented, Damn, at the age of 34, I would hope you could swear if you wanted to. The tab will take some getting used to. Some people just have a look about them to where they can pull off anything. Since I've seen you before without it, it will take some time to get you getting used to. So it is outsider's point of view. Oops, I mean 35, my bad. It's all good, girl. You know, 34, 35 is all in the same with me. I'm in my 30s. And yes, I do realize that um, those who missed my last video, I got a new tat. I said I was going to get my neck tattoo, which I did. And I'm loving it. I got so much work to do. Like, getting that neck tattoo made me want to get tatted up some more on my body. But that will take time. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. I truly appreciate it. And for those who have not commented yet, please do so because I will be reading them. All right, you guys. Let's get back to the video. I got to buy Hi, I just started there yesterday and I just came in for my first shift and I had a question. Mm -hmm. So tell Cindy that she can choke on a bird's nest and I'm done and I quit and I'm not putting in my two weeks because I quit. And tell her that when I see her, it's on site and I'm gonna have a quesadilla on hand to throw out her face because she got quesadilla, jalapeno sauce all over my $10,000 Versace blouse. So yeah, I'm over it. I quit. That actually sounds That's like fun. Ooh, should I call Golf Galaxy? That's like a place I've never been in and I don't want to go in, but like kind of want to call them and tell them I quit. Hi, I just started there yesterday and I had a quick question. Yeah. I was going into training and Mark hit me with a golf club and little does he know that he rearranged the bone structure of my face and made me pretty. So I just wanted to say that jokes on Mark, I'm prettier than him now. So I quit. Do you want me to 
get him for you? Yeah, can you get him? Wait, there's really a guy by that name? <laughs> that was awesome. He literally transferred her over to the cops. <laughs> Ooh, that was Sorry, good. I'm bored. Now I don't have a rush anymore. That was fun. That was cute while it lasted. But now I am bored. Ooh, I know how to get a rush. I'm gonna do this thing where I just call a friend and tell him, hey, I'm on my way, like, what's up? And then I don't come. They'll get excited over me, and then they'll be like, oh my god, Ramon's coming, and then I don't come. I'm gonna call Alex from the Hype House. <laughs> Hi, babe. Oh my god, I miss you. I miss you more. Babe, I'm coming over. I'm picking up a $10,000 cap from the airport right now. Okay, so I can't come over? No, come over. I'll meet you there, and you can see it. Yeah, that happens a lot. I want to get a bit with you. That happens a lot. Okay, I'll see you. People who take lots of selfies are only paying attention to themselves. They just are. Even in a conversation, a FaceTime conversation, they're looking at themselves, y'all. That's when you gotta let them off the phone. It's time to move on. Coming over. Okay, bye. I'm not coming over. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh I don't gosh, know, girl. I just one of my friends and so, like, start crying. And it's against the character, um, not being pretty, not being pretty. Oh. Imari, I like that name. <laughs> Imari. <laughs> Imari. Imari, I'm crying. Oh, I can only hear you. That's me. I'm not picking that right now. Oh, okay. What the fuck? This whack-ass bitch. Oh, and one of my friends called me and I started crying. Bitch, I... I mean, I guess I wouldn't do anything. Because, like, why would you, like, bitch, stop crying? so pretty. Hey. <laughs> Don't matter. Um, what should I do? Lorraine. Give me something to do right now. Demolish the world single-handedly. Demolish the world? Yes. Yeah. So I did just that. I got myself a round trip flight to the White House. Why round trip? Because I'm not sitting in that black ass thing. So I went to the White House, snuck so in, seduced stupid. all the guards with my prettiness, and decided to seduce my way up to the president's office. Oh wait, the president wasn't there. <laughs> I kidnapped him. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not really about that. I went in there, found the big red button, then I got on a spaceship, took a one-way space flight to okay. Mars, colonized it with myself, and I did what I had to do. Mm. Interesting. I got so much bread. Yo, look at dummy the head. What's up, bro? Bro. I mean, she. I mean, her. I'm a woman. Oh my god. Power of his head has her way. No! You cannot be declared. Oh my god. Raven, you're scaring me. <laughs> you are scary. Don't be like that. I know you. I watch you on YouTube. You're watching me through my window? Oh my god. How do you know who I am? Then what's, what's his Shy name? Daddy. <laughs> it's like we both like YouTube. Small world. I like TikTok. You like TikTok. How did you know I like TikTok? Are you stalking me? You're in your blue room, making a blueprint of my house. Yeah, I know what you're up to. The police are on their way. What the fuck are you? Damn, boy. Little boy. You do realize that you're living in 2020. Who's raising you? Because they're obviously not caught up with society right now. Watch your mouth, little boy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So I literally breathe. I didn't say anything funny. Girl, you sound like a turkey. That's so funny. Lorraine! You have a great smile. I love you. <laughs> wig? You're saying this is a wig? You're saying this is not my actual hair? You're saying I'm ugly? Let me drag her. Let me drag. You know what? Tilt your head forward like this. Oh my god. He'd be scaring me when he does that. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm sorry. I don't understand what's funny. Come closer to the screen. Go outside. Are you guys famous? If you want us to be famous. <laughs> Lorraine. 
I said the same thing when I saw you. Um, I said the same thing when I saw you. Shut up, we suck that dick. Such a cute ass. Oh my god. That was a mess. That was. Mm hmm. Self confidence, self love, and wash your motherfucking hands. All I can see is black. <laughs> Isabella, I genuinely like, don't know where I am because I can't see it. Like, I. All right, so that was today's video. I, I, you were right. That video was all over the place. It was definitely a mess. But either way, it was fun, entertaining, positive, because this coronavirus got everybody all fucked up. I needed to see some entertainment. All right, what did you think about my video? Was it good? Was it not? Was it an escape from the real world? Let me know. Comment below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.